Well, you know, and this is the second time I've seen your video and, and you know, kind of that generation Cowboys won't cry, but wow. Um, you know, having four kids of my own and, and just, uh, you know, seeing with you picture your family, it'd be a beautiful family. Thank you. And tell me, tell me what that's like having the change there and giving you time back with your, your husband and your daughter. Oh, it's unbelievable. He used to look after everything in our house. I had help in the house with our daughter. I had, um, we are part of a really close knit community and, and there'd be meals dropped off and house cleaning and babysitting offered all the time. Um, a few summers ago, I had a student that would actually come twice a week and she would just hang out with Abby because I was not able to, to do it. I needed naps every afternoon, um, the time to do my physio and that. I really felt like I was watching my life happen and not really participating in it. And now I can participate again. Um, yeah, things like helping set up our pool for the summer, all that kind of stuff. I can help with that again. Um, I can look after my house. My husband doesn't have to worry about that anymore. He can focus on work and focus on having fun with us when I have the energy to do it. It's it's just great. It's, it's life changing. And it's things like um, that you wouldn't think about little tasks that you do, like emptying the dishwasher, folding the laundry, playing a game with your child, all that stuff. I would need breaks of good 10 or 15 minutes just coughing in order to move to the next one, or I would need a nap before I could do the next thing. And now I can do these things all day long. I can run errands, I can go to the park with Abby, I can, yeah, it's, and and at the end of the day, you're tired, but it's a good tired, it's an accomplished tired, which is huge. Well, that's wonderful, and it, it must be tons of strain off the family and, and everything too, just because of that. That's... 100%, yeah. So I was actually, my first application for this drug went in, um, late 2019 and I was rejected the first time which um, was hard to understand because I had been so sick that year and at the same time the U.S. had approved uh, Trikafta for all everybody who was 12 and up and you started to see these videos of people celebrating their difference in health um, so as much as it's such a huge blessing for me to be able to share this story it's very difficult because in Canada we, not many people have it yet only the very sickest and if we only give it to the people who are have such severe lung disease and don't give it to children before all that permanent damage happens, you're not going to see the benefits the same way that you would um, if you gave it to them. Like they have a chance for a, a relatively normal life compared to what myself and other adults with CF have had to endure to this point. So it is it is a game changing medication. And, and actually, as we open up from COVID and start having easing of restrictions and people get to go back to their normal life, that's not really how it will be for people with CF because we often have symptoms that you would associate with COVID. Um, risk of pneumonia, risk of hospitalization from lung infections, and, and we're often hospitalized more often probably than, uh, than the average person who would contract COVID, right? So, the other part is, is the masking and the distancing. People with CF can't actually be close to each other because we carry bacteria in our lungs that can make another person with CF very, very sick and, and lead to premature, premature death sometimes, really. So we have to be very careful. This whole masking and six feet apart and all that stuff, when we're together with other CFers, that's what we do. But we're not even allowed in the same room together, really, unless you're yeah. family members and then you... you uh, take the risk because they're your sibling, right? So yeah. what would be awesome and amazing is if everyone is sort of slowly getting back to normal and uh, be able to socialize and stuff again and have CFers have that that same opportunity because Trikafta is supposed to come out this June here in Canada. And if we could also have our normal, more normal and healthier life back, that would be incredible.